Welcome back bandits, I'm Red Bandit and today we are in Mexico for Red Dead Redemption 2. You may be thinking, how are you in Mexico? Well guys, if you want to find out how you can get to Mexico, make sure you go and watch our tutorial on the channel on how to do that. So, we are here in Mexico region right now. Well, we're just about to go into Mexico. And today I'm going to show you guys how to get to Guama, the secret island in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, you can get to Guama and I'm going to be showing you exactly how. In fact, in order to get there, we need to travel all the way over here. A very long distance indeed. So, in order to do that, what we need to do is activate a cheat code. In fact, I already have one that I made earlier. Yes, that's right. I'm now adopting quotes from Art Attack and cooking shows where they say, Oh, here's one I made earlier. So here's one I made earlier. A horse. Yes, indeed. So now we are going to begin our journey across the sprawling desert of Mexico and look at some of the sightseeing options on the way and tell you guys how you can get there. So, as you can see... This is Mexico in front of us here, so we need to get around there and all the way across the desert. So if you guys are ready, let's begin our journey. So first of all, we need to figure out how to get past this river here or this lake in the Mexico region. Now last time I did this, I kind of failed miserably. So I think I found like one of the best places to cross this river right here. We're going with the river right now. Come on, horse. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm getting worried now because our stamina tonic is running out. Whoa, okay, we made it. Nice. Much more success than the last time I did that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is head up these rocks and see if we can't get ourselves across to the main area of Mexico. This is awesome. Guys, and as you can see, there is actual pathways. There's plants that react to everything you do. I'm just going to test to see if these cactuses here... Yes, they do. These cacti are basically collision proof they are actual working plants around this area which is amazing so it's clear that there is more of a reason to this area than we think why would they texture so many things why would they add so many plants if it used up so much hardware data and they didn't need it so that just basically right there is pretty much evidence if you want to call it that that there is more going on here there is totally something more to this than we thought which is awesome and I am excited to find out exactly what it is that we're going to discover as you can see we're heading towards the famous archway in Mexico just over there in the distance as the Sun rises Wow that is incredible looking very nice indeed let's go and explore this it's funny to think that this low poly render of Red Dead Redemption 1's map is basically the quality that it was back in 2010 like, this quality was acceptable back in 2010, but when you look at it now, on these current gen consoles, you would be pretty much disappointed if you saw something like this. And there you go, there is the train bridge that we have heard about. Thank you to Zach Cox TV. He showed us that earlier on in another video of his. And as you can see, we're riding towards the sunset here. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can activate cinematic cameras here. Dun 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 Guys, this looks absolutely incredible. What is that down there? As you can see, there you go. That's a good example of how low render some of these places are to the point where as soon as you go near it, it just looks like a black mess. Whoa! Guys, a rock is moving on its own. Are you seeing this right now? Oh, it's in the sky. We've got a floating rock. What the... Right, well that's our first strange occurrence we found in Mexico. We found a floating rock. What a discovery. I think we need to get up over there. That's going to be our best bet to get into Guama, guys. That's going to be our best bet. I don't know what's around here, but I definitely think that we need to try our best to get to Guama. I don't know exactly how we do it, but I think I've seen a few tutorials, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how we do that. Okay, so what you want to do is keep heading round, follow this ridge all the way round, and wait, make your way up to this location here where you see that broken wood. When you see the broken wood, I think what we need to do is head round this way. Whoa, 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 horse, horse. This is not the time to be playing up with me. And I think... What we need to do is keep heading around this ridge. Whoa, look at the views, guys. Oh, wow, amazing. And this is what we're looking for here, this ledge right here. So I'll show you on the map whereabouts it is. 
and get a good idea of whereabouts you need to be. Right, there we are. Make sure you put the question mark at the end there as well. It says, you've successfully unlocked a cheat. And here it is, create circus wagon. It will say that it's been activated and there you go. You now have the circus wagon available. Now what we need to do is we need to hold the front right bumper or the R1 button on PlayStation and bring it right up here. And then what we need to do is we need to try and get on top of the wagon now. And upon first impression, you'll be like, ah, oh, that's really, really difficult. Well, now this is where another cheat comes in handy. We need to enter the cheat code greed is American virtue. Or you may have some weapons on you of this class. So we're going to do that now. Now what we need to do is access our weapon wheel and change our slugs to explosive. That's right, guys. And upon using these explosive slugs... You need to shoot the tires on this trailer, like so. Then, of course, you need to get the horses out of here. Or, you don't have to necessarily get the horses out of there. It just helps if you can. But you can just jump up here, like so. Run and jump over into the boundary. And there we have it. Then we need to come round the side. And we need to try and find our new route to get in to Guama. Whoa, but we need to be careful, guys. We need to be extremely careful of the edge of the rock like that because if you die well yeah you can uh, basically start over again that's basically what the game is going to tell you to do so we need to be really careful as we run over here and as you can see we have now got access to a better area of the map more greenery less mexico area so goodbye mexico and say hello to the new area of the map we've just unlocked now even more is required yes that's correct even more is required in order to actually achieve what we're after. We need to then go ahead and go and get our racehorse again. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're looking for. Ground that looks like this, where when you shoot it, there's no clear marks on the ground where your bullets are going. You need to try and find this corner. We're going to keep checking the map to see how close we are to it. We really want to be kind of like parallel to this part here, as close to the land as we can possibly get. Because then we want the game to think that when it places us back in the world, uh, the closest land to place us to that would be relevant would be Guama. That's what we're really aiming for here with this glitch. If you can understand what I'm saying there, then... Oh, okay, that was a mistake. We've fallen from the sky, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on the island of Guama. We made it in Red Dead Redemption 2. There we go. So that is a tutorial of how to get to Guama in the game. And I think I'm going to explore a little bit in this video, but I really want to kind of make the next video uh, the one that we do that with. So, oh wow, we can get loads of different bullets here. We've got high velocity bullets. You've got so many different round types in this game. It's awesome. So I'm going to explore this area a little bit, but then I want to do that in a live stream later on today. I want to do a live stream where we're exploring Guama. I think that would be a cool thing to do. As you can see, we've got lots and lots of jungly areas around here. And I think there is even enemies that spawn, which is going to be awesome. Let's go and find some enemies and do some shooting. Explore this in first person would be even cooler. Oh, we got some parrots. We found some parrots. Let's see if we can study them. I think I've already studied a lot of these parrots. So we've got a boar here. We've got jungle. That is just a beautiful screenshot right there we can take. What do you guys think of that as being our thumbnail? Maybe I should get the most zoomed out view that we can. Now that is just amazing. Showing you guys where we can get to in the game. We've got a waterfall. I don't know exactly where I'm heading, but I know there's lots of places you can explore around here. I think down here... Is, oh, it's a restricted area in, in, in Guama. Wow, look, it even comes up with the, the place names that where you are, which is awesome. What we need to do is go along this waterfall right here, and there's a small ledge. You can go through the cave. Get your torch out. Whoa, everyone. This is spooky. Whoa! 
Okay, guys, you do not want to fall down that hole. You do not want to fall down that hole in Guama. Oh, wow, look at that. That is amazing. So there's got to be more that we can explore around here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we've got some sort of abandoned place with a fire. This looks amazing. We've got tables. We've got a small pathway down here. We'll do a live stream later on today of exploring that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and of course, I hope I've earned you guys respect, and hopefully you guys have considered clicking that subscribe button down below. I'm Red Bandit. Stay cool, stay awesome, and of course, adios.